Are you loyal to your company? In this video, I'm going to talk about how your company doesn't care about your loyalty. So many people believe that being loyal to your company will be reciprocated. You will get preference in promotion, you will get good salary hikes, etc. cetera. Uh, but let's explore that why that might not be the case. So be ready for some eye-opening insights. In corporate world, companies have one primary focus, the bottom line, okay? So if you uh, have the company performance on a chart, the top line is basically your revenue and the bottom line is profitability. So always, always, profitability and growth drive their decision and not employ loyalty but what does that mean to employ loyalty companies are in the business of making money their main focus is ensuring financial success which often comes at the expense of employee loyalty so while being a loyal uh, employee will be valued at the personal level so when it comes to like strategy and business decisions profitability or the bottom line takes precedence so look after yourself and just don't be loyal. So the biggest example that we have actually seen in the recent times, like why you should just look out for yourself and not just like be forcefully loyal to your company is the layoffs that we saw at Google and other tech companies like Meta, uh, Oracle, Adobe, etc. So people worked at companies like Google, Meta for like 27 years, 20 years, 10 years, proving their loyalty to their company. They wore merchandise like these and roamed on the streets, basically just like feeling proud that, hey, I work at Google, I work at YouTube, I work at Meta. See, be jealous of me. I'm loyal to my company. I work at a fan company. And what happened in the end? one fine day they just like found out that their account is not working and they're like locked out from their system so they did not even get a email intimating them that okay they're actually being laid off it is just like happened so uh, mechanically so what happened to all those loyal years of like 10 years 5 years 15 years people actually just like uh, work for the same company for like 20 years and after that they were just like uh, shown the door uh, just like this unceremoniously so loyalty does not matter for business decisions of course i'm not blaming companies for their restructuring or downsizing decisions these are the business decisions that they have to take uh, to be competitive in the technology world technology changes and definitely the kind of work that people have to do definitely changes and they need new workforce so for example earlier times the mode of transportation was uh, horses so there were like many people riding horses right uh, but after that with the industrial revolution there were like cars uh, and motorbike etc and because of that those kind of jobs uh, were gone and new jobs were created so we are actually in this like new ai phase where you have like these old jobs that are being eliminated and new jobs will definitely be created it is crucial to recognize that company survival often outweighs your individual loyalty so another aspect that I wanted to talk about is the rise of this gig economy. So what is this gig economy? So these days uh, uh, people are like uh, looking for like more flexible options like work from home, just like being in the office like one or two days, etc. So loyalty is going two ways now. So employees are looking for more and more flexible options and uh, the company is willing to give it to them at the expense of them not being full-time workers and taking care of their uh, health insurance, etc. So if you see many of these contingent workers or these contractors are increasing in companies. So uh, the companies are just hiring people on a project basis and not hiring enough full-time employees because uh, basically they want to like uh, give more and more flexibility to their employees uh, and basically not pay for their health insurance etc so being in this like whole circle makes you just just like uh, be associated with a company or people for like a few months or probably a year or so and then after that you're on your own your company is not liable to like pay for like any uh, severance packages just in case if you don't have any project etc so this kind of economy is increasing and because of that I mean it does not matter if you're like a very loyal person to your company I mean if you are a contractor and if you are like showing very much loyalty if you don't have a project you're gone the whole dynamics has shifted from this like long-term loyalty to this like short-term result-oriented employees. Another aspect is 
the importance of this uh, individual value okay so the value that that you actually bring to your company is more valuable to a company than just your loyalty i mean of course loyalty matters but does that save you when the company has to like make the business decisions no so what you can do is prioritize your growth and development uh, instead of just like having like good connections with your manager etc because uh, in the end the business decision will take precedence over your individual connections so you should definitely keep on learning new things and uh, of course related to your technology or related to your your company because uh, authority comes from clarity and clarity comes from knowledge okay so until and unless you have all of these your company won't see you as a authority in a particular field and you won't be an asset to a company Okay, so loyalty is good, but authority over a certain field is better. There you have it, folks. Your loyalty is good on a personal level. Okay, but when it comes to business decision, your company will not think twice before showing you the door. So try to be an asset to the company and not just like be a liability when it comes to like uh, the decision making. Okay, so loyalty, although it may be appreciated on a personal level, uh, your skills and the, the kind of value that you actually bring to the company takes precedence over your loyalty. So always try to stay ahead of the curve and uh, try to like learn new things, upskill yourself, enhance your knowledge and uh, that will give you a good job security than just being loyal and wearing these like uh, company branded t-shirts and showing that you really are a team player etc okay i hope you like this video thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next one